Hi, my name is Paul Rizek. I'm a faculty librarian here at Harold Washington College, and today I'm going to teach you how to use the scanner in the library. The scanner is located in the back of the library. As you can see, I have a textbook here from Speech 101, and I'm going to scan Chapter 10, which is five total pages. There are two scanners you can choose from. The one on the right is good for loose leaf paper, while the one on the left is good for books. So let's choose the one on the left and continue. You have three options as to where the final scan will go. You can either download it to a USB stick, send it to your email, or upload it to your OneDrive or Google Drive account. Any of these options will work fine, but we at the library tend to recommend you to just send it to your email. It tends to be the easiest way. When you use the scanner, be aware of copyright law. As long as you only scan small portions of the book, you should be fine. Generally, that means a max of 10 pages. There are a number of options you can change about your scan, but in 99 cases out of 100, you can just use the default settings and everything will look fine. Now that all the settings are in place, we can scan our book. Simply pick it up, put it in the scanner bed, and be sure to put the scanner lid down over the book. This will ensure that you get the best quality scan possible. Once your book is in place, you can tap the green scan button in the top left corner and the machine will scan your page. If you want to scan multiple pages, you can simply turn the page on your book and press scan again, and it'll save both the scan that you just did and the scan that you did before. Let's fast forward a bit until we've scanned all five of our pages. Now that we've scanned all five pages, we can double check the previews just to make sure that the quality is okay, and then get ready to send it to our email. On the email screen, enter your email on the top row that says to, and leave the other boxes blank. Once that's done, your scan will be on the way. If you want, you can scan more pages, send the existing scan that you did to another source, or simply exit. A couple minutes later, if you check your email, you should find the scan in your inbox. Make sure that it didn't go into your spam filter. When you open the email, download the attachment in order to access your scan. From here, you can either use the attachment as a digital copy, or you can print it out and have a physical copy that you can take anywhere. Thanks for watching, and watch this space for more library tutorials.